is Florence Katono. Welcome to the Ask for Training campaign, which I'm glad to be a part of. Now, throughout my tenure as the PA of the year 2015, I had the opportunity of traveling and interacting with PAs all over the world. And one of the key things that stands out is the need for training. Sadly though, I conducted a survey here in Uganda only last year. And I found out that the biggest and their need for most of the PAs is the need for training. Contra contrary, on the contrary though, the availability of funds for training for PAs is still wanting in many countries. And this challenge is a global challenge. So I'm glad when such a discussion comes up because then it shows that we are trying to move forward, to find a way forward. Now the only way I know to grow on a job is to constantly seek training, to constantly be the leader. But then how are we going to be the leaders if there are no opportunities for training? So I'm so glad that the Executive Secretary has come up with this opportunity for us to have the discussion, for us to, for us to evaluate and how we can go forward. Of course, asking for training is two way. For most times you will be given and for some times you will be denied. And then the key question is for the business, what is this training bringing back? What is the return on investment? And if you're able to answer that, then we only give the employer a one-way ticket to sponsoring our training opportunities. As a speaker and trainer, I have always advised peers to look out for that one opportunity they, they, will be, they will be able to do in a particular year and then seek out to have that one opportunity. Invite, by inviting me to your in-house training, I bring to the table a discussion on inspiration and what this job might mean. It's not just a job. And as um, the team of Peggy was case when she said, not mere admin. And I'm glad to, that we're having this kind of discussion, a discussion that will take us forward. So one of the ways and the key clear ways to, to identify a training is first of all, what does training mean to you and what do you want to achieve? And then you go out and find who is providing the kind of skill that you look that you're looking to upgrade. There are so many trainings all over the world and all of them are not for you. But there's that one particular one which will answer the question which will give you the skill set that you've been looking for. Attending these kinds of conferences brings something back to the table, especially if you're training them with colleagues in the same industry. At the World Assistance Summit last year in 2017, in 2018, I was able to relate with um, peers in the central, from the central bank, from the central, from other central banks, and they shared experiences and the things that relate to me and to us in the industry, which I would have otherwise never known if I didn't interact with them. So training opportunities are also for knowledge, are also for skill, but are also for that bank, the PN network that you need while executing your role. Ask for admin training is definitely the campaign and the discussion that ought to be happening.